Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. So yeah, it's not really an unboxing video. I did unbox uh, my orchids already, but I want to introduce to you some new orchids. These are my Miltonias and I have two of them are new, but uh, we will uh, see, uh, have a look at them uh, pretty soon. But first I'm going to start over here. So yeah, I just didn't have the time to do a real unboxing. I even have some of them already uh, put in their new um, setup. But this is the um, Encyclia Black Comet. And you can see it's starting two new growths. And it's still working on uh, getting used to the self-watering. Like I said, and next to it, it's the, from uh, Carnus. I did um, do a uh, unboxing on this one, but it's still in the transition period. So therefore it's still here. Then we have the Wildcat Bobcat. That's also a new one, but it wasn't a, a very nice orchid to begin with, I must admit. And it's really not looking happy, but it is starting a new growth there. So yeah, that's what you get when you uh, buy orchids online. You cannot always see them. But if I saw this one in a store, I, I wouldn't have bought it. I, I'm just being honest. But yeah, well, we, uh, we'll, we will try our best. So. That's that one. Then I have a no idea, no ID orchid, but it's a very nice uh, red one. And I will have a picture of the blooms. If I am correct, I did save it. So I will show it to you guys, but that's this one. Fairly big orchid. And you can see the, comp uh, the difference between them. If you see, uh, look at uh, this orchid and then that one. So yeah. If you see it like this in a store, I, I would suggest leave it there. <laughs> but anyhow, I, I will try uh, my best. And it probably will eventually be okay, but it will be set back uh, quite a lot. So, But that's uh, I'm calling that uh, intense red <laughs> because of the beautiful red blooms. And I really, really, really like them. So I thought that one I would like to add as well. And then we have a new fell. This is Sogo Relax. And it's, the blooms are very, very beautiful. It's a very dark purple. It may look a little bit more red uh, in screen, I'm not sure. But as I see it on my uh, camera, it looks a little bit more red than it really is. But very beautiful. It's a bit of a, a waxy wax type bloom. And I did put uh, the one with the biggest leaves. So that's a new one as well. So those are here and I need to do a repot on the fell, of course. And, uh, but those are here. As soon as I see them transition to uh, the cell watering, if I really see new growths, uh, new roots growing in, in, inside of the pots, then I will start watering them and then they will get their, um, basically their forever home. <laughs> um, so over here, I found another Miltoniopsis that I didn't have. So I'm very happy with this one. I really like to uh, put more Miltoniopsis into my collection because I, those are my most favorite orchids. So I like to uh, collect uh, as many different ones as I, as I basically can. But I wasn't sure because I didn't have a picture of the one that I already had. And that is actually this one. And it looks kind of similar. Of course, now we can see clearly that there's quite a lot of difference but when you are in the store and you don't have the picture in the, on your phone I was like hmm I'm not remembering but then I thought no I, I believe it isn't that pink on the lip and luckily I was right otherwise I had a double one and that was wouldn't be the end of the world of course but still and then I have this one next to it is also a new one but it's still in bud and I had a look at the lip and I saw a little bit of that waterfall pattern there, as they uh, call it. But I'm not sure, because I have the Newton Falls, and it might be the same. I'm not sure. But we shall see. It's a nice surprise. It wasn't that expensive. Once again, if I ha it's a double one, I will uh, give it away. So those were so far um, new orchids. Um, and I have a few more in the greenhouse. So let's have a look. I have a 
Gramafilm. Gramafilm. From Arcade Garden. Gramafilm Speciosum for Variety Alba. Whoops, there we are. And I believe if I did a correct research, this, th these are technically the biggest arcades there are. At least it's said in one article. But yeah, and it's the album form, and I really enjoy the blooms, the picture of the blooms, but I hope it will uh, start to grow. It wasn't in the best shape, I must admit. There are some roots, but the roots didn't look very healthy. And sadly, this happens more with Orchid Garden, I must admit. It's not really nice to say, but it's just me being honest. I'm not trying to uh, be uh, mean or anything. Sometimes it's okay, but yeah. Not always that happy with, uh, with the plants, but um, I, I think it will be all right. But it, it probably needs a little bit more time to adjust than when you have a healthy uh, orchid. So let me see, do I have more new ones? No, no, not more, I think. <laughs> we had some uh, unboxing from Akarna orchids, of course. Those are new, but you already see them, so I don't have to uh, point them out anymore. But I just wanted to give you an update. Oh yeah, I did have one here. It's a Catlea Dawaniana var variety Aurea. Yes, there we go. It's a very uh, small one. It's this one here. That's new as well. But it's really uh, starting to grow and to adapt to uh, self-watering. It's putting out some uh, beautiful roots there. There goes my tag back so it's uh, working on this uh, this growth is working on the roots I should say and I'm seeing a bit of an eye starting there so beautiful I'm very happy with it it's uh, you probably only will find seedlings of these uh, arcs but at least in my case on occasion very rarely you might see a uh, adult uh, version of this uh, arcus probably but it's, I think it's, it's quite uh, will be quite expensive <laughs> so but uh, it's okay it can grow on now so yeah these were uh, my new orchids uh, for so far uh, it's just a time issue where I, uh, when I cannot do the unboxings like we like them but I hope you enjoy this as well so I just wanted to show you uh, some new additions uh, thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions please let me know and for now uh, like I said thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!